uh, the Holy Spirit is necessary um, uh, for gospel work. Verse 49, and look, I am sending you what my father promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. All right, Jesus was saying, in order for you to be effective witnesses for me, you need the Holy Spirit. Look, they had to wait for that, but now here, we don't have to wait for that. You can have the power promised in this passage right now. If you don't have it already, you can have it now. You just have to ask for it. You just have to believe that Jesus repent of your sins and receive the free gift of eternal life and, and turn and follow him. And boom, you have the power that Jesus promised right here. But there's also action. We have to do something. I think this is the place where we're stuck. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I think Wildwood is stuck in a place where, where we're Jesus-y people, but we're... We're stuck in a place where we're not actively pursuing this. Like, how bad do we want to be disciples of Jesus? How much do we really feel that Jesus has changed our life? And how are you influencing your sphere around you? We talk about, uh, we talk about family transformation. We talk about community impact. There's nothing that transforms family like the gospel. And there is nothing that will transform our community but the gospel. And so if we're not actively using our sphere of influence to, to proclaim the gospel, we're gonna continue to be stuck. And I believe, I believe that the Lord is about to, to change it. He is in the process of changing that. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing things start to move.